Because if that, because if not, if they were across the street, like saying, "Please come here." Look at this, you guys. Look at the pile of. This is just a quick Bigfoot World look at. Wow. I had no idea. I did actually, but not that it would look like this. All disturbed. All disturbances. Look at this structure. Everything is like, you know, that crazy, messy stuff. I don't get it. How do you decipher what the differences are? Is it just in the in the Bigfoot himself? Is he just lazier? Or wow. Look at this. I may never go back. Just gonna leave those guys there. I found a Bigfoot world. They built this entire development of these two, three million dollar spaced out homes, and they're really spaced. You can't even see each other, but they're three million dollars. And they just cut this shit, this stuff down, and it's 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 terrible. I mean, I, when you when you know what I know about these forests, it's just a horrible thing to see a new developer go in and just cut down these Bigfoot worlds. I'm seeing all kinds of walking right here. Look at this. Oh my God. Joel, thank God I'm talking to the camera. This is Joel, but thank God I came in here, because look. Look at the teepee structure right next to it. You guys, it is a teepee. Not even a teepee structure, it's basically a teepee. And look, here's the perches. Wow. Right underneath the perch. They just moved, I'm telling you. Look at that. Look at this. What a spot. You know, you guys, it never fails me. I, I, I told these guys, I'm like, don't even think about what we're doing. We're going to go out today, and we don't even have to go deep because of their medical conditions right now. And, and it's just going to be amazing. Something's going to happen, I promise. And here we are, like, right now. Look at this. Like, you guys, I got to look at the A-frame into an X. I, I got here in a minute. It's because up this road is, is untraveled. There's only three people that go past where we are right now. And I don't think they come by there very often because it's their seasonal homes. So it's like, these guys have a field day in here. I got their perches. I got their seats and they are disturbed like crazy. You guys, this doesn't stop. Look at the X. So keep it up, other people. If I keep getting comments like, why does he have a camera from the 1980s when he, because he doesn't realize I'm zoomed in two, two miles, I, I'm going to Patreon. It's, it's going to happen really soon, guys. I, I need positivity, not idiots. And I, I'm, not, I'm not here to teach the outside world. When that guy figures out Sasquatch the best, the best he can, then he can come find me. Pretty soon. I'm gonna. I'm going off the face of the earth. Just so you know. Look at this giant footprint right in the middle. I think it's a big footprint because it's soft here. Yeah, it's really soft. Look at this. Look at the X. Their stick says always, right? It's so disturbed, like recently. Where's the one I saw? It looks like he just jumped, jumped up. Like he, look at that one. That's amazing. Here's a great evidence, look. Great evidence. It's not exciting, but it's great, okay? So see this one here? It was blatantly picked up, because look, that's where it used to be. You can see actually where it was. It was picked up and put into this crazy, amazing, Outline breaker. That's what that's what I call these outline breakers. What's up? I know I got some here too. Joel said he found a footprint. This is a place where they just would never expect us to be doing this. These are you know these people that own these three million dollar houses. They don't do this typically, right? He's you gotta remember this is his four three million dollar house. Those people don't think about stuff like this. The only thing he cares about is how hot his wife is and his job. That's, that, is, that is a stereotype, but it is 99% of these guys, believe me. You don't become that successful without being 1,000% focused on what you do. 
typically. Another footprint right there. I just stepped in a little bit of it. It's right there. There's toes on that one and it looks small. See all the disturbances? You can see where they walk. That's what it would look like if me and you walked through here. Any one of you guys. Because that's all that it leaves. I am blown away by this. I wish I was doing a better video. I'm just blown away by this. I want to catch a quick uh, glimpse. I may come back here and just lose myself in these woods one day. So I just want to figure out with this video whether that's worth it. Joel, you won't believe this. What? Just, just come down here. Look at this. He doesn't have to, but I think he, I think it's worth it. You guys, th th to physically be in in that is one of the most amazing things I've ever done. Just now, it, it's, it is un freaking believable in there. The, I got chills. Look at the phone. Look at, look at the steps. The disturbances right there. I'm going. They're, they're stepping over that. And then look. Wow. It doesn't stop. I'm going fast, so you're going to miss a lot. Break. I, I got to take a peek further. I can't believe I found a, a world this crazy. Now, we are way up this mountain, right? But not that far. Like 10 minute ride up a, up a paved road. It turns into a dirt road. So you can, you can hear how beautifully quiet it is here, listen. But, you know, it, it, this is safe and I just didn't, I knew this would be up here, but I just didn't know, I didn't think I'd be able to find it this, this quickly and boom. And it tells me this isn't it, you know, it just goes on and on. You gotta see the structures. I'll, I will film some more stuff um, on the way out of here so you have understand like when I'm driving. So you can see, I'm talking stuff like this. Look at this. Where Bigfoot lives. There's perches, there's seats right in there. Oh my God. I'm telling you guys, I'm not trying to make it dramatic, but I'm like, there's seats right in there. It's because I, I feel like it's my first time. Like with, like with the like exception of the knowledge that I learn, you know, the things I accumulate, like in a sense accumulate, because it just kind of comes to you. Like it's not even like the I've, this is my theory on this. I have to do some theories, but most of it becomes factual. It's, it's an amazing thing. We are very intelligent that way. Where, you know, repetition teaches us, we learn. In fact, most of us, what do we call it? Learning the hard way, like to learn the hard way. We need to learn the hard way. Some very intelligent people don't, but some of us idiots, especially growing up as kids, including myself in this, that's why. Um, and I use the word idiot nicely. Um, need, you know, everything is the hard way, right? And I, I honestly think some of those hard lessons in life and pain that you may carry forever, um, you know, leads you to this. It, it brings you to them. They, they love to, to help, you know, to be a part of, um, you know, they, they know when you're sad. It's, it's weird. I don't think that, you know, Sasquatch wants to necessarily cares if we're really happy as humans, but when they get you as an individual, as an individual out here and they see, and they genuinely sense your sadness, they will try to fix that. And if these were evil beings, they wouldn't do that. They would feed off that sadness. Want you more sad. You know, see how nothing's game looking? This is incredible. Sorry, I just get going in now. Look how everything's broken in here. See this? This is all from feet. Hey guys, I didn't even say hello to these guys. Could you say hello, like give us a whistle? I, I don't believe that they've gone very far because this isn't the type of place, I mean, they don't, they don't have to worry about anybody here. At all. Look at all the sticks right there on the ground. Like piled up. That star structure was pretty cool right there. All right, it's starting to rain. I'm pretty much covered. Look at the X that way. 
amazing. Thank you, God, for letting me do that just now. I can't even tell you how much I think I'm thankful to and Patreon. You guys are the best. You know, Patreon people always thank me every time I, play, I post something. Mark, thank you for what you do. And I'm like, you kidding me? I'm like, you guys know it's my pleasure. You don't have to ever thank me, and I'm the one that needs to be thanking you guys. So Patreon people, you are the best, and they are. I mean, I'm not even joking. Anyone on Patreon, my Patreon will tell you that everyone else is cool. You know, so I'm, I'm assuming that they will tell you they're cool. Like everyone is just is great. We never have any problems. And you know what? I don't care if you were giving me a million dollars a year. If you s have any problems there, you're out of there. I, it's not about money, Patreon. I mean, it is, but it's not. It's to me. I, the, the support morally I get from these guys is just, and girls, is just amazing. And I'm just, I'm so overly thankful. Like, I don't take it for, I so don't take it for granted that I will always thank you over and over. I can't help it. Like, Look what I get to do. Now listen, you don't get to do this. You know, you gotta do, you gotta put everything, it, it's like anything. Like if you wanna be successful in this, you gotta put beyond your heart into this. And that's what I'm doing and it's paying off, you know? It's not paying off money, but it's paying off, you know, with just what with the, with the work I'm getting and the, or the work I'm doing and the stuff I'm finding. And guess what? It's just gonna get better and better and better. Here's a, here's a place I've been by 50 times and knew what in the hell does that yo I know you got whistles that's why I like that Daton is in the car window looking at the other side of this out the window and you know when if I'm not around they're much more likely to get activity they'll interact with them you know, these guys know what I'm walking around with right now, and I think they're getting a, a vibe for how many people I'm doing it for, and that's why it's become, you know, it's becoming less. So what I'm doing is I'm going to start applying new, new, new tactics. I'm going to be doing some tripod, long zooms, things like that. The, the, the pictures, they don't mind me getting. They really don't care when I do that. The long zooms and stuff. It's when I, you know, I'm doing it here. Like, he's right there, he's right there. Like, they, they hate that you know don't point and you know, if you're out here with me you know those guys are getting visuals yesterday they did fine we were just giving don a hard time he's like he's right there i'm like don't point you know because you can't when you're that close up but you just don't point on him because you don't want to uh you know you want him to keep going you don't want him to do more all right it's gonna it's raining a little bit give me a second i found this to be really unusual for Sasquatch, and I know it's them. What is this, first of all? These two bones, there's no doubt in my mind, they're fresh. I can smell the rigor mortis on them, okay? We're laid next to each other on these structures. I don't think those are Sasquatch in there. You know, these people are living not far. A mile through these woods, a half a mile, and there's there's a house, and then you you know down there there's another house. No idea that there's like other creatures. No idea. It's to me knowledge of things other people don't know about makes you wealthy. Not owning six three million dollar houses and being a a human robot in a sense. Yeah, the guy can do whatever he wants, but he doesn't. You know, they, you ever notice that? The hardest workers, the, the wealthiest people, they never do anything except work. He's like, honey, I gotta work. You know, it's like, and don't have good marriages and don't, it's an addiction. To me, this is wealth. You know, I know something and I know more than most people in the world and I can find these worlds. So to me, you know, that's amazing. I'm very thankful for that. I, th I think it's God didn't trust me with millions. Okay, it's a moose. Two laid next to each other, and it was a baby moose. A little tiny baby moose. But they, I, I, the way this is set up, it sure looks like they did this. I don't see, where's the skull? You know what I mean? Like, 
they get they get rid of the, some of the stuff they don't want. They will chew on those bones and they will suck the marrow out. Usually I find one and it's already been done. You see the teeth marks all over them. Uh, who's got one? There's a bunch of people that come in here and have actually taken them with them because it's they're so blatant. It's a great souvenir. You find it looks like a human with superpowers was chewing on it. Because you can blatantly see the human teeth marks, you know, what look up here to be human teeth marks, you know, on it, you know. That's a mind blower in here. Look at the walking through here. Big pile of poop right there. So I have to assume it's like, I got game here. Game walking through the top. I'm coming. Unbelievable. This is a, I did terribly today, sorry. <laughs> My narrating was terrible, but I don't care about that. This is what I care about. This is what I want you to see. There's no reason to critique me. I don't think too many people do, because I know I'm ADHD, and I'll come to your house and, and find you, but uh, you don't need to listen to me. I think you'll learn a lot if you do, if you, if you can deal with me, but just, just look yourself. You know, figure it out yourself. I did it, you can do it. Well, most of you. And then, you know, it's like, it's like what we talk about. You know, there's a lot of people that probably could do this better than me, but they're sick. You know, they have cancer, um, MS, and all these, all these things. And, you know, they just want this camera out here. This is what they want to do, you know? It's just, this is what I do. I, if I'm watching Netflix and I see the woods, I don't even know what they're talking about. By the way, this smells like a Christmas tree city right here. Like it, it smells like you're walking through a Christmas tree farm, like to pick one out for Christmas. That's what that smells like. It's really, we smelled it from the truck here. That's how crazy it is. Which tells me they've been doing all kinds of work through here. Thank you. Yeah. I'm right here. You got tree breaks? I don't know, maybe. I was making some noise. The camera knows because I, uh, I haven't turned it off and I think I just made noise, but I can't remember. All right, you guys. Over now. So first of all, they put this Aspen, they made it a triangle, and they put that up there. That was definitely not there last year. I'm not gonna go show you how cool it is, but just trust me, it's cool. Look at the walking in here. You guys here? This is unique, okay? Look at this. Look at that, look how matted. Look how matted. It's all, you guys, it's round. And it's matted round around the actual one of the pieces of wood. Look, this see this 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 goes to show you how these these teepees are not made to, to be in. It's not it's not for being inside. It's for energy. Oh, but is it matted down? Look. Look how matted down inside. I think they just like appear there and walk out. Look here. You just know it's Sasquatch. Look at this. <laughs> this is amazing. It's been here for a long, long time. And uh, they actually paved the road around it, which is, which is just amazing. Look at the walking out of the teepee, guys. It's, this is all Bigfoot. This is what it looks like. See how flat it is? It's not those streams of, of like from a game walking. It's everything is, is wide and flat. Look at that. First one ever, guys, in the history of Bigfoot. A symmetrical X with a, with a bird's nest right in the middle. I think that's the first one. <laughs> well, if anything else, nothing else happens, I can brag about that. All disturbed here. I knew they were right in there last time I was here. I got timestamps right in there. But I was, I was a noob, I didn't know where to look. All right, I gotta go, because it's uh, raining on my camera, but look at this. Look at the, look at another one, another round. So everything is just flattened out here. And then look at that. I'm sorry, I'm doing horrible narrating today. Because we gotta go.
Look at that. You know, I'm not gonna, why, why dwell on this? Here's the amazing part about this, the trail markers. And it shows you how long, my guess is they started using these Aspens about the time the teepee began, which would be, well, at least started remarking it. So that'd be 10 to 15 years by the, the height of those Aspens. And they, there's two of them. You see that? I know every, most of you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. It looks like you can sit there and they just may do that, like the little ones, I don't know. Look at that. And it goes in the teepee. It looks very small in there, I can't explain that. There is a tunnel. Uh, my light broke yesterday. My, my light broke on this thing yesterday, so I don't have a, a, a light that actually comes out. But it just shows you, like here's a road and there's a car that's right there, you see that? See that? Yeah. I, I want it because I want to show you how round how, what's, what I'm saying you see that it's because of the road go, it goes round like that it's an, it's an amazing thing look here's another one yeah. Ooh, these are all footprints coming down are they going up or down look how they put this in here these were cut but you can tell they moved them See how it's a triangle? It's a pointer. Oh, I see, I get it. All right, I'll be back. Look at this. Teepee, right? All the walking. It's, it's a pointer. It's a triangle that points this way. <laughs> what do you want to bet? Well, just, just, just mark my words, I should say. I'm not betting, but look. But this is where you go. You guys, it looks like another world back there. And it's thick and you can't see. And there's, I found other teepees at long distance. Um, amazing structures, Bigfoot worlds. This is gonna be a special, special find. Mostly because nobody around here has a clue. Mostly because no one around here goes in to places like this ever. They just don't do it. Look, field goal, shabby X, but just enough to let you know, right? And then you get back, same thing back there. There was like nothing. And then all you have to do is go hundred yards and the whole Bigfoot world begins. You know, it's more easy to believe that the wind is blowing down the road and making structures. Why are all the structures, you know, in this case here, all out of sight? Every single one of them is out of sight. Ooh, it looks like a big ant thing. All right, there she is, you guys. Still running, but I got 210,000. I really need someone to send me a new GMC Denali. Thank you. <laughs> I, I don't, I can't let my truck hear it because I don't know. It's never let me down. It's a great truck. I'm just a lover of vehicles. That's what it is. I can't help it. And I'm always ready for the new one. But I love it. Over now.